we are Waimudu Study Abroad. It's a Coimbatore based company. We have we started in 2010, almost 13 years in Coimbatore. We are located in RS Forum and we have uh, RS Forum DB Road and we have branch offices in Tuji and Mumbai. In Tuji, it's in a place called Tengu and in Madurai, it's a place in the bypass road. So, we have three offices and from 2010 onwards, in the beginning, we were training students for uh, the exams, English proficiency test, management exams. So, in the beginning, we were doing that and uh, after that, we started doing applications as well as doing the training program. So, almost 13 years, we have sent almost uh, 2,000 plus students abroad who are doing their who were doing the higher education and uh, still even last year we had almost 174 students for September 2022 weekday we had we had sent around 122 students for September 2022 weekday okay and uh, we have uh, signed with almost more than 700 universities in US. UK, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland and Canada and few countries in Europe too. And uh, as I said we train for the English proficiency test like IELTS, PTE, uh, GRE, TOEFL and GMAT. So these are the things which we do. And uh, this is what actually I have already told you this. The first thing is study abroad, where we help students pursue their higher education abroad, and then test preparation, the author test, and other services like uh, accommodation, flight ticketing, education loan, okay, education loan, uh, yeah. Now, this is the question why study abroad? Why study abroad? And how many of you are? Yes, sir. Very hard to find. Good, good number. Good number. We have almost 20 of them. I'm sure after my presentation, another 5 or 10 students will be interested. I guarantee you that. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, good. Why study abroad? Yeah, India particular man. India, all of us, India, 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 we are not only in the particular. Correct, but there is a catch for it. The first thing is to become independent and gain social standing. Meaning, you know that, being a parent to learn again, hostel learning again, we can run a home, we can go again. Okay? So, once you go abroad, you are all alone. You have to be all alone. That is where you will learn life. You have to be alone to learn life. You will be able to get it done and you will become independent. You cannot depend on anybody else. And second thing is to initiate a world for yourself without boundaries. I think you must have understood. You will have your own world. You will, you will make your own world around you and you will not have any boundaries. There won't be any boundaries limiting you. And the third one is to develop understanding and adaptability to various culture and environment. Read it as India and Mother, we know only about Indian culture. We see Namamuri, Namanade, Namabiri, Adamada. When you are born you will find many of the different cultures. Maybe from China you will have Asian friends, you will have, you will have from Africa, you will have uh, American friends. So you will get to know all these cultures there. And the fourth one is to be able to function effectively at personal and professional level. You will be able to do things personally and professionally by yourself. That's what I told you in the beginning. You would be independent. And good one is develop your language skills. This is the main thing. Everybody will be uh, like, what are English class? 
everybody because our mother tongue we have our own mother tongue so english is the language which is being taught to us during your schooling and college okay but those countries when wherever you are going angla padina english is the main language so you will get an opportunity to develop the english language your english skills will develop and then to gain an edge in job market because of your exposure and be more employable this is the main thing once you go abroad you will not go suppose for example you can go to a university you are studying now your salary will be so high in meaning it will be 10 or 15 times more than what you get in india once you do your pg your salary will be in dollars or in pounds when when you convert it will be 10 or 15 times more than what you get after doing your pg in india or uge also okay and most of all you can travel worldwide the reason is you will not be employed only in that particular country your employment will be worldwide suppose you get a graduate good skill you can get a job any part of the world not only in india you can come back to india and at the same time you can get job in any part of the world okay so these are the countries which we are doing uk usa canada australia ireland new zealand and europe yes there is now in china portla philippines portla uh or dubai there is a i didn't do it can tell me why can you say that why only these countries uk usa canada australia and ireland and new zealand any idea could you use for that Yeah, in the country, what did I choose for it? I didn't choose uh, China, Russia, Ukraine. I didn't choose uh, Philippines. I didn't choose sorry, we. Reason? Reason why we are not uh, helping students pursue higher education in these countries? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. You guys are uh, little down. Yes, it's because. It's an English-speaking country. All these countries are English-speaking country. Whereas in Philippines, they have Filipino their language. Germany, you have German. France, you have French. Okay. China, Russia. So these countries, you should know the language. Only then you will be able to get an admission. Okay. But whereas in the six countries, English is the language. That is, they use their language. The uh, native language is English, and we know English, so that it will be much easier for us to get admission there. Okay, so these are the six, uh, six countries, including Europe. Few countries in Europe that I come to tell, I will let you know about those countries. So now, why study in UK? You get a world-class degree, which is the uh, top university in the world. Any idea? <laughs> good, good joke. <laughs> Which is the uh, top university in the world? Please be clear, sir. Which is the top university in the world, sir? No, no. Cambridge? No, that's the second. Oxford. Oxford is the top most university in the world. And it is located in UK. Okay, why is it uh, the top university in the world? Any reason? Is it another program? Is it another or university one that is the top ranking program? Is there a reason for this? Like building, or is it another other cutting of the mark? Is it another student? Are you students? Are you hostel? You must be in Oxford, right? Why is Oxford the top university in the world? Fine, I will tell you the answer. Because of its faculty. Okay, Oxford 
the top university of course it is the oldest university and top faculties are in oxford university when you have top faculties in university you will get only the best students studying there world liye best students only will be able to get admission down there okay you you should have a separate different profile i want you go back uh, after the session you just google and see who are the uh, alumni of uh, oxford university we have people from india also so you should have that kind of a profile so these kind of things only make a university top understood okay so you get world class degree in uk and most of the uh, countries which i am saying uh degree la in the uk la the best us la the best apdi la kedaidu each college each sorry each university has their own uh rankings and uh, what do you say in a book quality of education okay the next is quality of education when you see the quality of education in uk the uh, education is very high say that for the master you will only have to spend one year for pg program ninga oru varsham la padikku us australia canada la la pg program rendu varsham avum but in uk they will teach the program in one year time and it will all be in the rendu varsham la padikirathu they will make it one year and it will be the best you get the best internship of course everybody knows about that short duration of course i told you now and world class placement once you start uh, your career through your uh, education in uk you will get a world class placement nama nama god in india like more than the colleges there are in something uh, placement there is like that adhe mari da you uk us we will talk about uk uh and the placement center could be called any big called as community center it is called as community center so once you enroll in the uh, program what you can do is you can go to this community center get the help of the community center members and they will help you build your profile build your profile i'll tell you one example uh, we most of our students do that actually particularly one particular student i'll tell you we have a we had a student who had gone for jan september 2021 intake avaru inga the gavi ponaranga aston university uk even uh, generally uh, what happens is when you go for uh, pg abroad you have the option of doing your uh, part time job every country is allowed uh, international students to do part time you can study as well as you can work and make money so uh, that that will come later on series but then this is how it is you can uh, study in the morning and then uh, in the evening you can go for part time jobs for some hours like 20 hours per week you can do part time job there so what the person did is uh, when he was going in the i told him uh, part time job okay so my actual part time jobs will be very very easy to find in uk as soon as you go land that before you could start your program you can get a part time job that is easy so what happens is right out you start the program you go attend the classes first two months in the part time jobs there are there don't take care of uh, don't be look into part time jobs only concentrate on your study try to get adapt to the environment know what is the culture understand what is your subject and all that he had beyond he had the um, is a polachi student from ppd college uh, polachi he did his uh, b in uh, uh, easy engineering you see us see us yeah see us and uh, he went to after university to do his msc in data science he went to um, with a one year program so msc data science and the boy he started off his classes for two months he never did anything he didn't go didn't go for any part time job he understood the uh, uh, program he was able to get adapt to the atmosphere so the first thing you since you are going you are entirely different culture and when you are going from india you will find it very difficult to get accustomed to that particular culture in the beginning 
after that later on you will get used to it so but first two months he never went for a part time job and what we told him is after that you go to the community center that the place will sell you give place will sell you and the community center will give go to the place and sell get your profile done then you are assumed they will help you in preparing your resume so get your profile done and get that job with regard to your own field that is data science system okay after that third or third month he got a job in jaguar jaguar the car company he got a job as part time job only he used to do his part time job in jaguar once he completed his course that is uh, in september 2022 he finished his course and right now he is working for jaguar they employed him as a full time employee in data science and he is working for jaguar he is taking care of five countries polachi lerde uk poli data science mudichu okay part time job panni padichu ippo he is taking care of five countries in uk for jaguar data science sir he has to some something related to data science okay he taking care of uh, india australia south africa uk and uh, uh, one more country i can get these five countries is taking care of and you know what would be his salary is unimaginable unimaginable in, in india if he was in india i am sure he would be getting that salary only after 20 years he would have done some more kind of jobs so then he, he would have got a good job but coming to that particular level of salary he will take at least 15 to 20 years for him to get it he will be earning it right now or right away okay and uh, the company has given him the house car everything every facility he has given so this is this is the uh, what is the advantage of doing your higher education abroad this is one example i am telling you because i don't want to give you examples and make you bored this is one good example okay so you get world class placements i am sure if he was in india he wouldn't have got a job in uh, jaguar 100% and develop your language skills you will even though if you are good in english you will develop your uh, language skills health insurance benefits is free of cost medical is free of cost only thing you will have to pay a few amount before you could uh, travel to uk during your visa processing is somewhere around 30000 or something once you do that your medical is free of cost in uk and then i have told you part time work benefits in uk it is around 20 hours per week wherein your minimum wages would be 10 pound 10 pounds per hour today the rate is 100 rupees per pound so in one hour you will be getting around 1000 rupees in one hour you will get 1000 rupees in uk this is uk mostly all the countries are like that and in us it's almost the same only thing in us it's the most popular destination for study abroad everybody wants to go to us why employment opportunity okay mostly if you see this it from the it industry many of them would like to do the pg abroad in uk that's all in us the reason is all the it firms are in us the giants are in us microsoft ibm it's all in the silicon valley so it's easy for you to get a job there if you do a computer based uh, program in us getting a job in us is very easy and rest all the other say every every country will have the same thing like now so when you come to canada is an affordable the only the important point i have highlighted is affordable education when you compare to any other country in canada the fees is much less and then the cost of living is also less and possibility of immigration you will be able to uh, get the pr very easily because the population is very less but one thing you have to have in mind the weather is terrible sir the weather is too cold where in india we can manage but only to a certain level and that the programs are all for two years only only problem is 
the weather is bad. In Australia, everything is the same. Same thing. Weather is nice, the same as India, and you get a chance of migration. Otherwise, everything is the same. Like whatever is UK, USA, Canada, all are the same. And this is Ireland. Okay. When it comes to Ireland, one benefit is uh, employability. Okay. The reason is uh, medical, paramedicals, then uh, software, then uh, there are many industries. They have their head office, headquarters based in Ireland. So again, job opportunities are both in Ireland. New Zealand, the cost of living is less and it's the safest place in the world to stay. New Zealand is called the safest place in the world. Okay, and in Europe, there are around 44 countries, but then we help students only very few countries that do. If a student is coming specifically, I want to go to Germany, then what we do is we do the process. But one thing, you have to learn the language. Without knowing the language, you will not be able to go and study. The reason is, again, an example I tell you, we had a student who went to Germany. Uh, in German, you will have to know, uh, you have to clear eight levels of exams. From 1 to 8, you have to go, you will have to clear these levels. If you are not able to clear these levels, then uh, we don't recommend the student to go to Germany and study. The reason is, you can, uh, if you will clear level 2 is enough, you will get an admission. But once you finish your uh, university course, you will have to come back to India. The reason is, employability is very, very bad. I am not telling you the negative or uh, I am telling you the truth. If you know German language completely, thoroughly, only, fluently only, they will give you a question. Just like how we are in India. Okay? Tamil Nala Tenjana, people start giving you work. Or if you are going to North, you should know how to speak in Hindi. Only then you will be able to get an advice. Otherwise, you will not be. Same thing only in Germany, all these European countries. So we prefer uh, uh, sending our students, our Indian students to six English speaking countries uh, and we, uh, if a student wants to do in Germany or any other European country, then these are the criteria which we ask for. Okay. Now this is the comparison. This is the comparison for each country. That is UK, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Ireland. Everywhere it will work, you have a part time work, if it is 20 hours per week. Okay? And uh, UK is 2 years per year. Yeah, 1 year program. The other, in UK it is 1 year program. And other uh, countries it is 1 to 2 years program. And the fee structure is uh, varies from, uh, in Indian rupees we say it starts from around 10 lakh to 50 lakhs. Any, any university you are going, any call, any country you are going, your fees will start between the minimum of 10 lakhs to maximum of 15 lakhs. This depends on the university and the country. And I am worry for nothing here. There is a facility where I will tell you about that. How to do it. Generally, Yalarme or Nama India, especially in Tamil Nadu, or Mr. Yalarme, Panakara Pasanana, very not to be putting for you. Okay, but even you guys, I am not uh, discriminating or anything, even a person who is from a middle class family also will be able to go and do their higher education abroad. It's only a myth. I will tell you how to do that. Okay, and then um, uh, there is another option. If you go to any of these countries, once you finish your program, it is not necessary that you have to leave the country and come back. You can stay back. Stay back option is in there. if you are going to UK, you study for one year. In the 12 months course actually, but you will have only 9 months of classes and 3 months of vacation. After this, you can stay back in UK for 2 years. After your graduation, 
You can stay back in UK for two years. The reason is to find a job. In just two years, you can find a job. Not only in UK, every country, they give one to two. Uh, if you see in Canada, I know they give you three years. But in you, it is minimum of one year to two years, but every country, minimum uh, average of two years, you are allowed to stay back in UK. Now, we did much to get to the country. You can stay back if you are not able to get a point as a good job during your uh, graduation, not a problem. You can stay back and get a job in this two years time. And uh, during your uh, graduation, you can do your uh, part time job. These are the minimum wages, somewhere around 10 uh, pounds to maximum of uh, maximum, yeah, 20 pounds you will get. 10 to 20 pounds maximum. When you convert it into money, uh, in Indian rupees, it's good money. Okay, so these are the things. And uh, this is the test prep. See, most of the uh, universities abroad, they will want you all to prepare some tests, which is uh, English speaking for English provision teachers, because since uh, we are not the native English speaking uh, people, so they want the uh, Everyone to have these tests. So these are the tests which we prepare. GRE, GMAT, TOEFL, IELTS. GRE is for uh, doing your PG in uh, USA. GMAT is doing your MBA in USA. And uh, TOEFL, IELTS, PG is for English proficiency test in any of the country. Okay. So I, uh, this is IELTS, International Education Language Testing System. There is nothing. We all know English. Uh, there are four sections in this reading, speaking, writing, and listening. They'll give you a topic and you'll have to speak. They'll give you a topic and you'll have to write. And you'll have to listen to the audio and answer. And uh, they will question you and you'll have to answer. So, this is all very simple. If you know, basic English is enough. Okay. And it's the same with the TOEFL as well as PTE also. It's all English proficiency. And the GRT is graduate record examination. This is for doing your PTE. USA. If you want to do your PG in USA, any, I told you, you know, like any of the IT industry, IT uh, courses if you want to do, you have to do this GRE. And the GMAT is for if you want to do your MBA in USA, you will have to do GMAT. Okay. And these are the other process, uh, services which we do. We do visa processing, scholarships, education loan, flight ticket, accommodation, and transit services. Okay. Now, uh, when it comes to education loan and the fees, you are now first of all, like a first lesson with this, on the lesson, why this fees are Okay, first is, we provide you with education loans. There are two types of education loans. That is, one is collateral, where you will have to pledge your uh, document, be it your land and the money that is best money it is, then the bank will give you a loan. There is another way of getting a loan, is non collateral education loan, where you need not have to pledge anything. Oral document is available here. All you need is an offer letter from the university. University will also offer letter from the university. And the letter account is this. You can get education loan from the banks. Okay. And there are two types. Like what happens is there are some banks, as soon as you get your education loan, next month you will have to start paying the EMI. And there are few banks, what they say is after you get your education loan, after you complete your graduation, after you get the bare account is directed, you have the EMI paper company. So those kind of things, we are there to help us and most of our students are all gone to this particular the second thing, that is non collateral loan banking, most of them we have helped them out. Okay, and then we take care of visa processing, accommodation and most of all, every university in uh, abroad, give scholarships to the students. It's based on uh, merit or uh, lots, there are various uh, scholarships and we help get students for uh, scholarships. Suppose if your fee is around 15 lakh to 20 lakh, your tuition fee would be around 15 to 20 lakh, we can get minimum of 2000, 2000 pounds to 5000 pounds which is around 2 lakh to 5 lakh. When you get a maximum scholarship of 5 lakh, your tuition fee will be reduced to uh, from 20 to 15, 15 lakhs. 
and this 15 lakh or so we can get you a non collateral education loan. Okay, so this is how it is. So don't worry about the education loan. And this is how the process we do. First, what we do is we collect all your documents. Documents meaning your mark sheet from your 10th standard to the present mark sheet. And uh, after that, we apply to universities directly to the universities and we get an offer letter from the uh, university for you. With that offer letter, we can apply for scholarship as well as we can apply for the non collateral education loan. Once we get it, what we do is we help you in processing the visa process and finally accommodation and flight ticketing. This process is done free of cost. We don't charge you anything, not even a single penny we charge from our students. So the service will be completely free here. There are consultancies which they charge even for shortlisting of colleges, uh, universities. You know, the process control they have service charges, but now there are no service charges at all. What we do is we whatever we are able to have actually we can say that this is a, a like uh, uh, service thing no? we, we we just do it as a service for all people. We don't start any fee from our students. Until they 13 years are, we have not charged even a single fine from our students. This is what it is. And uh, one more thing is um, if a student to us get an admission in any of the UK colleges, the universities in UK, we give them the flight ticket free of course. We book the ticket for them and give it to them as a present. Which will be almost be around one and a half lakh ticket from UK from Pyburn to from India to UK will cost you somewhere around one and a half lakh that we do it free of course. Okay. And then in Hindustan College yeah, these are the uh, social media pages which we follow, and uh, these these are this is our head office in Coimbatore, and we have branch office in Trichy uh, and uh, Madurai. And uh, if you want to get in touch with us with regards to study abroad application process, you can note down this number. Or if you want to get in touch with uh, the test preparations, you can get in touch with us with this. But one more thing is, we have a, we have signed up an MOU with the uh, Hindustan Institute, where we will be conducting IELTS classes inside the campus, English proficiency classes inside the campus. Okay, uh, actually the fees is around the ten thousand five hundred for online classes, and city level the in office of the offline classes, which are uh, uh, willing to do offline classes with us, which is around ten thirty thousand rupees. But for Hindustan students, we are doing it free of cost. You can, it will be happening inside the uh, campus. So if you are interested, you can get in touch with ma'am. And uh, we would be conducting the classes inside your campus during your college hours. And it's free of cost. And also, if you are willing to go abroad and do your higher education, you can uh, get in touch with us. And even that, the processing also, we do it free of cost. We don't uh, depend on any. Uh, hey, I told you, know, we do as a service. We have come here just to create awareness between you. That's all. Last week we did it in Hindustan camp and today we are doing it here. The reason is we want to create awareness. That is, the first in Afghanistan, there is a myth in everybody's uh, head that is, uh, only the rich can go abroad and study. No. It is not. When a student from Polachi, from PPG College of Arts and Science, can go abroad and uh, get a job in Jaipur, why can't you get to it? Correct. That's all. So, there are a lot of opportunities. Only thing you have to uh, seek that, and we are here to help you. Got it? Any questions? Any questions? Suppose uh, if you will come up with a question, the form of the scenario is in there. 
Now we, we can clarify you when we call and speak to you. So now, how many of you all are interested in uh, going abroad? Yes, I can find the front row, back row. Yes. The opportunities are there. How many things you have to find that and get it done? That's all. Can you just fill up the form, please? Everyone has filled up the form. Your name, number, email address, department, and which country you are preferring and which course you are preferring. So before you want to leave, we will just give you a pamphlet or so, brochures. You can just go through it. And uh, if you are interested, please do approach us. We are in uh, RF Forum. If you are not willing to come to our office, the phone number is there. You can call us up. And our counselors would uh, help you or guide you in uh, achieving your dreams, abroad dreams come true.